here's a long-time welterweight contender, Vicente Luque, out of Killcliffe FC in South Florida. Also spent some time at Serrano BJJ under Daniel Evangelista in his native Brazil. But Vicente Luque is the total package, right? Certainly there have been ups and downs throughout his UFC career. But to realize and sustain this type of success at 170 pounds in the UFC for this long just speaks to his greatness. And a lot of people believe one more signature win could find Vicente Luque in his first undisputed UFC welterweight title fight. Tonight, though, should go a long way towards proving just how good Vicente Luque can be. So here he is, the ubiquitous Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, building still packed to the mix. Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Baltimore Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights, knocking out Paul Daly, knocked out Marius Aromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC and getting wins over BJ Penn fighting George St. Pierre and then also sharing the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fights with Nick Diaz because he was such a star and such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. Nick Diaz, we are set for our main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Vicente the Silent Assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Nick Diaz! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. The silent assassin Vicente Luque getting ready for the start of this round. His style is anything but silent. Outstanding mix of knockouts and submissions. He likes to strike. He said as much midweek. He believes this matchup will be favorable for him in terms of the striking. Can always lean on that Brazilian jiu-jitsu game if need be. But Luque ready to kick box under the lights tonight. getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Oh, you can hear that. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. job to block that punch. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Diaz. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh! And a miss with the right hook. Well, 
Valley's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Tags him with that uppercut. We cross the midpoint in round one. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Luke. Punch over the top. Perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, nice body shot. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. How to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of ace. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Oh, Kamura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Submission defense wins this transition. Now drops inside that close guard. Luque's looking for an arm bar here. He is no one-trick pony. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. There it is. We need to work out his position. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. But I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. <laughs> he passed the half guard. Diaz getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. All right, feet on the hips here. Final seconds of round one. Oh, Diaz is back into full guard. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner, and Diaz has got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. He appeared to open up a significant cut on his opponent's forehead with one of those strikes. A lot of blood comes from the cut on the forehead. He did exactly what he needed to do to land a strike that would open up a cut on the forehead. Now that he's got the target, he has got to continue to go there. He's got to continue to land in that spot to try to get his opponent out of it. Of course, his corner employing him to be more sound defensively. The cut man appeared to do a pretty good job. Let's see how this next round plays out. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Block that one. Stand. Nice uppercut inside. Ooh, another shot to the head. Oh, I like that kick there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, and a high kick lands. And misses with the right hand. Luque's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Big power shot there. Dude's in a good 
good flow state, landing punch after punch. Luque's in half court. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. It looks like he's getting close to his arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down to the mat, and squeeze. And his opponent will have no choice but to tap. Play there, recognizing he was losing the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? There it is. Now he's on the mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, so yet another ground-and-pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping forward. They're excited. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to rise with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, short uppercut in the clinch by Diaz. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. Luque's looking to lock up an arm bar here. He's got it isolated. Trying to finish the arm bar here. All he's got to do now is take his time, and the finish will present itself. but much better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm ball. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? You ready? Third Go round on. underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. 
Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Clipped him with the right hand there. Misses again with a right punch. Well, one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, Diaz is taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Right there it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Our uh, rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so. Diaz is going for an arm here. Arms in deep. Well, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. He's going to work hard to get this finish. but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. He's out again. Nicely done. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Just over two minutes to go in the round. is in half goal. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you have a good back. These fighters can't see that. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the traffic was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Diaz. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, how good was his timing to get the takedown there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. 15 seconds. Wow. He actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took a strong top position himself. Luque has been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth 
making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight. Ready. Go we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Vicente Luque gets hit with that stiff jab there. Beautiful kick lands there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Luque's really bleeding heavily now. You gotta think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Oh, that body kick landed. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh! You heard him. Oh, he lands a big left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Enters in on the double leg. Nice jab. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Luque's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. All right, so the redness is on. Oh, that's the to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, oh nice right hand. And now a left. Oh, good jab to the body by Diaz. Good jab. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Luque's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see. Oh, that's usually in there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Doctor talking to the referee right now. And... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They Great will. Fight. It's been a fun fight Great. to this point. Let's see Great. how he deals with this bad cut. All right, so the ref will get the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Good right hand. strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Luque's a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you gotta think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. Oh, nice. Nice. Luque's shot is blocked. Five seconds remain in the round. 
Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Gets the single leg takedown. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, there's the end of the round. High intensity, high drama. The nose is severely cut up right now. We'll see what the cut man can do to try to maximize these 60 seconds. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, Diaz's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. He missed with that jab attempt there. Luque's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice. Oh, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The cut men have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face area. Yeah, they're working full. They're working full tonight. I mean, the cut men are having to try to piece these two together after every single round. But this has been fun. This has been a fun fight for two, two incredibly tough mixed martial artists, and they are laying it on the line. All right, so at this point, maybe the ringside physician will indeed call the fight referee, bringing him in to look at that damage. Got to save the athlete from themselves. Too much damage. Stop the fight, ref. Got to stop the fight. Yes, and the doctor will do just that. I know the fans don't like it, but you got to tune out that noise if you are the doctor, the referee, and allow him to fight another day. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Nick Diaz! So congratulations to Nick Diaz. Just great to see one of the most popular and polarizing fighters on the roster, but get back inside the octagon and do what he does best. This is a big win, and you can be sure a big night across the board for Stockton, California's final.